Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Uh, I'm Boris, getting ready for the uh, Boris and Robin show, which will be starting in uh, just a little bit, live on WPDH. It's a Monday morning, getting ready for the show. Uh, hopefully had a nice weekend. Uh, I was down in the uh, city this weekend, and I was, uh, I was lucky enough uh, to get to see Springsteen on Broadway this weekend. It was like, as a, as a kid from Jersey, it was like a religious experience. The show was so good. Um, but I got to tell you, I was a little disappointed at the end of the show because, uh, you know, I told a few people I was going to see Springsteen and I do know a few people that have gone. And one of them was uh, Dr. Goldfisher, who's here on the show. He's like, oh, I saw Springsteen. He's like, here's what you do when the show's over. Go wait outside the stage door. Springsteen comes out and he signs stuff. So I was like super psyched because I like the show was incredible. I'm like, I'm going to get Springsteen to sign my playbill. I had a Sharpie that I brought with me. I was all prepared. So I'm like uh, getting out of the theater and I'm like all excited. I'm looking around and I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. I get out the door. There is a sea of 20,000 people. <laughs> it seemed like it was madness. And they're all there with their Springsteen shirts on. They're yelling Bruce. They've got their pens and their autographs, pictures that they want to get signed. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So like security is like ushering everybody away from the area. There's like these big stanchions up. So I didn't get within you know, 100 yards of Springsteen. Uh, but, uh, you know, our, we're going to open up the phones this morning to see if you guys have ever gotten a really cool autograph from a celebrity. Do you have a, an autograph in your house, something that you cherish from a uh, celebrity that you love? We'd love to hear about it. Or even see pictures this morning if you want to post it up on our Facebook page. We'd love to see that. Uh, oh, and uh, Fred's already chiming in on our topic of the day, which we posted on Facebook. So um, there's the, a, a great story we're going to be talking about out of Middletown. Uh, there's a woman who uh, was adopted as a child. Uh, as a teenager, she tried to find her birth parents. Uh, she found her mother, uh, could not uh, find her father uh, at all, and just pretty much gave up hope. But she took one of those uh, ancestry DNA tests, and when she got her results back, she was you know, trying to figure out what her heritage was since she didn't know her father. She was flabbergasted when it came back with her father's name printed right on it. Because I guess if you take those tests, they store your DNA, and if they find other family members that have a match, they let you know about it. And apparently, her birth father uh, also took one of these DNA tests. So uh, they got together, and it was an emotional reunion. We have the video up at WPDH.com. It's crazy. Uh, so we want to find out if you ever took one of those uh, DNA tests. Uh, and if so, did you ever find out something about your uh, ancestry? Maybe you didn't find a long-lost relative. Uh, maybe you found out that you're like a nationality and never knew you were. Uh, you know, let me let me know this morning. Uh, let's see. Fred is just paranoid because he thinks that uh, the government is taking your DNA when you do one of those tests. So we'll uh, we'll get more into that this morning. But we want to know uh, if you found out any interesting information from that uh, ancestry DNA test. Uh, plus, we're going to be playing the Hudson Valley Match Game this week. We got some uh, some great tickets to give away. We have the WPDH Summer Concert coming up uh, with Judas Priest and uh, Deep Purple, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, Robin's going to have her stoner report. Uh, we got the usual stuff that we do, too. So it's going to be a jam-packed morning. Hope you guys are recovered from the weekend. I barely am, but uh, we'll be on the air in a few minutes anyway. We'll see you starting at 6 o'clock at WPDH or uh, streaming on our free mobile app. Download it now. Thanks.